I'm Jay, I do vocals. I'm Josh, I'm a bass player. I'm Rich, I play drums. It's a tough one to describe without really like, listening to the music, I think. Um, a lot of the music is sound like metal, sort of on the verge of progressive, I guess. Some, some elements, mainly just heavy groove. Mm -hmm. But then obviously Mixed vocally, way. then there's rap influences, and, um, but metal again, so yeah, a mishmash, I guess. <laughs> That was a just kind of really, wasn't it? happened just through. Um, I think I, when I, I met Ben when he was in Heart of the Coward, he introduced me to Tim, and we were all just jamming in the studio together. Um, and then those guys left Heart of the Coward, and then Tim asked me if I just want to work on a project that he's got, mm -hmm. uh, like a just a, like a hack for this beat. Like, um, and I just I vocaled that, and then. That was it, really. After that, I think we started getting emails to play shows and stuff, and we didn't really, we didn't have, um, we didn't even have a band. So we got Josh, got Rich in, started yeah. playing together as a band, and then that was it, really. Yeah, that's kind of how it started. It's taken a long time getting all together, getting all written. Mm, it's it's really cool that we know that people will be able to listen to what we've been working on for so long now and also being able to implement it into a, an actual set that we can perform. So yeah, we're playing new songs and just enjoying putting some new songs out as well. Yeah, definitely the style was kind of developed um, at the sound, like the hack was EP. <coughs> Most of that was written like 2011, within the first sort of year or so of the band being a band. And it's been the last three, four years, we've been working on new stuff and pushing it in different directions, which to us kind of feels like that's a hack for the sound because we've been dealing with it for yeah. a few years. <laughs> but to a lot of people, it's going to be new to them hearing it on the album for the first time. Yeah. yeah. So there's definitely that like hack for the sound people know from the self titled EP. But it's a bit yeah. more advanced. We have the chance to push it in different directions now we have like yeah. more tracks to play with it. It's time to um, experiment on a few things and just kind of yeah. Yeah. Well I kinda of just write loads loads of lyrics about all different stuff like that, or everything. Ben kinda of does the same thing. Mm -hmm. Tim makes a couple of riffs and then um, yeah, I just I'll just focus something as a test out and then send it to Tim, Ben would do the same sort of thing and then Rich would do his drum bit on it. Same with Josh and then uh then we just keep changing it and changing it and changing it, don't we, until we've got something that we're we're happy to put out. Sometimes there'll be bits that are lying around from other um, drafts we've done and kind of cut cut out or whittled down or something so yeah. um, there's always other things that sometimes end up creeping back into other other songs, but yeah, it's kind of like a mixture of both, isn't it? Mm. Some of them are just straightforward, you write it from beginning to end, others it's like mixing it all up, so kind of buried. I think, uh, well, I think after we've written it sometimes and we'll sing it, we'll go, yeah, people are going to love that, people are going to like yeah. it, we're going to sing along to that. But um, I don't, I, me personally, I don't really write for that. It just doesn't mm -hmm. really work for me. I just kind of just write what I feel and then hooks. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't do hooks that much either. I get Ben to do the hooks, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I just write and see how it turns out. But we always know, like, oh yeah, they're, they're gonna they're gonna love this. They're gonna like singing onto this bit. Like, yeah. <laughs> but everyone we've got featured on the album are kind of just friends of us. So yeah. Stuff uh, we've been <coughs> either like playing shows with Harper Coward or Lynch Curry. <laughs> We just said, oh, you should get on the track with us and it started off as maybe like a drunken idea and that's kind of like, yeah, we're serious about this. Like, as we were writing it, we had ideas of who we wanted on tracks and stuff would start going in the direction. And it's mm -hmm. like, right, this would be really good to have Raul on this one, so we would maybe tailor it a little bit towards that person. But, yeah, I mean, getting hold of, getting hold of new people wasn't too much. Yeah, it wasn't too hard, no, we just... Um Oh, just to send them send over to him. Excuse to hang out with my mates. Yeah. Make some music. Yeah. Keep it in the family. Yeah.
pretty crazy. The mosque has been pretty brutal. <laughs> yeah. Every night they've been quite brutal, haven't they? Yeah, bigger and bigger. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been pretty, pretty sick so far. Definitely a broader yeah. crowd. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's weird. Like, um, playing across Europe, to go back to get out there. We did our first shows like, in Poland and countries like that with Shikari last year. But it was amazing how many people were there to see hacktivists. Like, people come up to us and say, oh, I've been waiting for you to come all this time. Yeah. We'll be turning up wearing hacktivist merch already in countries we've never been to. Yeah. So that's really cool. Getting to be to going out on this European tour now is going to be cool. Like, at the headline back and see them on the Yeah. Yeah. The lineup looks sick this year as well. Well, perfect yeah. festivals, man. It's just the right kind of size. Mm. The lineup's really good. The Shikari had learned this year as well. Yeah. And there's and loads of be... friends bands that are playing as well. So it's just going to yeah. be obviously an amazing lineup anyway. But then just hanging out with your mates mm. would be also good. I discovered loads of cool bands. Yeah. And heavy as well. Mm. Like Tron and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those bands. Yeah, bands from heavy. Anywhere in the world as well. Oh, oh Cypress Hills Festival, the smoke out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smoke out. Yeah. yeah, the smoke out. Yeah, yeah that would be pretty out. sweet. I'd like to play um, um, Glastonbury. I'd like, I'd like to play Glastonbury as well. I've never been to Glastonbury. We're playing a show at Monkey Ball. Monkey Jazz Festival. Yeah. Yeah. Monkey Ball would be pretty special, yeah. obviously. I, I, I spent most of my time growing up five minutes away from there to do the like actually get to play on the stage, yeah. not just sneaking and drink alcohol and rage. So I've been on that stage, ate a bottle of wine. Playing on top of a bus in India was kind of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It was like yeah. uh, the opposite yeah. of health and safety <laughs> gone mad. <laughs> It was yeah. uh, the absence <laughs> of, but it was um, that was really cool. Um, it was actually it was ridiculously dusty as well because it was in a, a um, an old metal works or something like that. And it was <laughs> so we were all in this massive warehouse and uh, there was dirt just covering everything um, as the kind of floor. And uh, yeah, there was like this red ball bus and we were playing on top of it, but it didn't. It had a pretty crude stage, so it was a bit slippery. We had, to, we, climb, climb, we had to get, we had to climb it by, um, by ladder, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, half a basket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think it goes up. So yeah, so that was a pretty up. weird experience. But and then playing on top of it, just being like so, so high above everyone else, I can like, like hardly see anyone except for right at the back edges. Double platinum. Double platinum. <laughs> Still playing music. Yeah. Mm. All the tours. Fresh yeah. albums. More bangers. More bangers. Right. That's it. Thanks for your time. Nope. Pretty sure. Five years worth of bangers. That's the bangers. <laughs> Maybe a second album. Mm. Yeah. True.